This fire that we went to at Woodgate, that was a 2018 one that went right through the National Park. It started as a little fire on Wapais Road. Well, this fire escalated in about 15 minutes, I'd say, at Crown, which means it got into the treetops, got into the canopy, and it took off like a rocket towards Woodgate Township. It was dry air, there was no humidity. And so when a fire started, it didn't stop. When the sun set, it just kept roaring. And I think they just had a huge amount of helicopters dumped heaps of water on it to pull it up before yeah. it went to a little village down over there. I mean, I've been in here from the start of, of Goodwood since, it's, since we started this fire brigade off. I'm, I'm probably the last surviving, you know, member of the fire brigade to be still active. Rural fire service is run by volunteers and it's great to be able to bring people together and, and train together and achieve stuff. Joining the Rural Fire Service as somebody with this physically challenged, it was a challenge to start with. <clears throat> There's a few people that would say, you know, what use is he going to be? But you know, you just got to, you got to go that extra mile, try a bit harder, and prove them wrong. He puts 110 percent in before anyone even puts five percent in. So he's, uh, he's assessing the, the situation before we even get there, and he's assessing who he's got to do what. I, I trust him with my life. He's got this up and running from nothing. Looks after all the locals. Richard, probably one of the. Uh, Four people that I would follow into a fire. Yeah, you'd follow him anyway, I think. I would anyway. Uh, there's been some rough fires around here and uh, with Richard, you always feel safe and secure and he looks after his members. We've seen a few people come and go, but the fire brigade is, is still here. And I would imagine, and I certainly hope it'll be here long after I'm gone.